This math knowledge practice test question for the ASVAB and PiCat says the perimeter of a rectangle is 120 feet. If its width is one half of its length, what is its length? So in this case, we're working with a rectangle and if it's helpful, quickly make a sketch of a rectangle. Now, to solve this one, you really don't need to know any formulas whatsoever. Instead, all you have to know is some properties of rectangles. Uh, in a rectangle, you know this is the width, and this width is equal to this width. This is the length, and this length is equal to this length. All right, how do you find the perimeter of a rectangle? You simply add up all of its sides. That said, we're given this small piece of information that's going to prompt us to make a modification to our rectangle. It says the width, w, is equal to half of its length. So algebraically, that says w equals one half of its length. So what I'm going to do is wherever I see width in this diagram, I'm going to replace it with one half of its length. And if it's helpful, you can make a new diagram very quickly. This becomes one half length, one half length. This is just length and this is length. Again, how do you find the perimeter of a rectangle? you add up all of its sides. So in other words, the perimeter of this new rectangle is going to be one half length plus length plus one half length plus length. What's more, we know according to the problem that the perimeter of our rectangle is 120 feet. So we can plug that in for P. This becomes 120 equals, we have L plus L, which is 2L. One half L plus one half L is 1L. So this is uh, going to be 3L. And we can solve for L now, the length of the rectangle, by dividing both sides of this equation by 3. This says L equals 120 divided by 3. Again, 12 divided by 3 would be 4. Therefore, 120 divided by 3 is 40. So we can see the length of our rectangle is going to be 40 feet. So this one is C.